This is the second exercise in the Paint with Lens series of short lessons. Here we'll learn how to put foliage on trees and learn to use the tools as we work along. We'll start by painting in the undercoat for the sky. I'm using a piece of canvas, you might want to use board. I'm using a size 12 flat hog bristle brush. The painting will be about that big. Fill in your sky area with white. Long brush strokes, plenty of paint. I'm using acrylic paint, you might be using oils. Do the same if you're painting in acrylics or oils. Then we'll add the darks to the corners. Crisscross brush stroke. Clean your brush, pick up more paint and keep adding the dark to the top of the painting. Don't bring it down too far yet. Backwards and forwards with your brush stroke and blend it down. That'll give you a soft blending from the dark to the light. Now with a round hog bristle brush, we'll dirty it in the brown paint and then pick up quite a lot of white on one side of the brush. You can do this with any brush. It's good to practice with any sort of brush you wish. And we're going to paint some clouds. We paint a few circles. Round and round and round we go. Don't worry too much about them. Just put them in the area where you think the cloud should be and try crossing the bottom off them. Make them round and round at the top and cross the bottom off the bottom of them. At the bottom of the sky the clouds get smaller so here you can practice little clouds and if they don't look so good don't worry. A few more little clouds. Try to keep the middle of your sky quite bright. You can have dark spots over towards the edge. Then with your big flat brush, very soft clean brush here, drag it across the sky and this will make the clouds look like they're moving. The mountains are very pale and they've got very pleasant slopes on them. Not up and down, just pleasant slopes and keep them curving in towards the picture and a few trees in front of the mountain. We block them in quite dark. This is the undercoat for the trees. I'm using a flat brush and straight burnt umber. Here with my round brush you load it on the edge and you can dab a bit of sunlight on the side of the trees. Practice this but don't worry too much if it doesn't turn out as you want it. Then with a bit of white bring it into the picture and slope it in and down and up the other sides and very dark in the corner. Now with a fan brush, with our fan brush stroke, we can turn it into grass in the usual way. Dab dab in the background and big grass strokes in the foreground. The little fine hair brush can be loaded with two colours or one colour, whatever you wish. Hold it with two fingers and you can quickly paint in your branches on your background trees. Again with a little brush we load it with two colours and bring in our gum tree in the foreground. This tree is quite close to us, it's quite dark and stretches well up into the sky. And of course this tree is not as far up as the other tree because it's further away. Now with our round hog bristle brush again, this time we load it with two colours, dark on one side and light on the other. We need plenty of white paint so put plenty on it. Dab, dab, dab. That's how we do our foliage. You notice they're mushroom shapes, little mushroom shapes forming umbrella shapes. You should practice this whenever you get a chance. And in the background, a little bit more delicate with your brush strokes back here. Dab, dab, dab. We're more or less painting a silhouette of the trees with a little bit of sunlight on them. Add a few branches here and there where they're needed and a few birds. An M and a V. Let's put another bird up close here, one on the mountain and a white line down the tree. That attracts your eye. We better do a few twigs on the ground. And I'm not quite sure about the shape of that big tree. I think I'll change the shape of it. Bring it in like that. Make sure these brush strokes are dark. And that's our gum trees with leaves on. 
you can practice that over and over again. Quite a nice little painting. Make sure you keep the white in the middle. And I'll see you again and soon we'll be painting trees in full colour.